it is important to understand the significance of letting go, and moving on for your own good. Holding on is a natural human instinct. But in the end, holding on to someone or something you love, or memories, can harm you by preventing you from reaching your full potential, and accomplishing your goals. We carry stress in our minds and bodies, potentially causing serious health problems, and eventually accept that state of tension as normal. Why is letting go so hard? We like to cling to things, situations, and especially people because they satisfy our need for certainty. We replay past mistakes in our heads even though we know the past is gone, and we cling to people even though our relationship has ended. This is due to the nature of our mind, which has a clinging effect. Our minds like to grasp things, people, and experiences that we are willing to let go of. What happens when you let go? Buddha advised. The more we cling to things, the more we suffer. If you let go a little, you'll find some peace, but if you let go a lot, you will have a lot of peace. If you're trying to move on from a painful experience, but aren't sure where to begin, here are seven suggestions to help you let go. Recognize that we have no control over the world, including people, other people's opinions, situations, and experiences. But keep in mind that there is something that is within our control. That is our reactions to others and our reactions to our experiences. Instead of dwelling on things you cannot control, focus all of your energy on something you can. Recognize the reality of impermanence. Everyone, everything, every experience, and every situation are transient. Nothing lasts forever. As a result, prepare to face the impermanent, because it will happen to all of us at any time. Both your good and bad times will pass you by. Instead of holding on to things that are fading away, let them fade away. Maintain your inner peace and remain positive.